Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th. So you could call this your new moon reading. The new moon is on the 16th, so let's just see what we have for Gemini. October 12th through the 19th for the new moon. What do we have for Gemini? So hard to shuffle these. I don't like picking from a bag. I just don't like it. What do we have for Gemini? Mm. Sun. Happiness and well-being. So sun is warmth, happiness, bliss, free, blessings, being accepted, great health. Just being yourself. This is a yes answer. Angel. Spiritual guidance. Protection from harm. You are protected from harm. Younger woman. Dealings or relationship with a younger woman. So. Something to do with a younger woman. You are protected. You have some sort of angel around you. You, there, there's good health. Your health is going to be improving this week. You may be working working on your health. Okay. Um, either way, you are you are protected. <sighs> Things are bright. This is bright. This is a new beginning. Suns are new beginnings as well. You may be in a very happy place this week. I find that I find that. Uh, surprising okay because of the intense energy that this new moon is bringing but you're protected so that is something to be happy about at least you are protected in some way um, what do we have for Gemini good health shining as well you're going to be shining this week you, you may even be in the spotlight There's, this is a, a period of growth for you. Strength reversed. This younger woman could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Because we have Leo here, we have Leo here, and then this, I don't know who it is, but it could be a Leo. But this is, doesn't have to be. This, this could be a person, but it could also be an energy. This is a feeling of weakness. This is somebody that is a coward, fearful. Um, I don't feel like it's you. You're not a coward. You're not fearful. So I don't feel like that's you. I think it's somebody else. Now this is a loss. It is a loss. It could be a loss of a friendship. All right. Um, this is no victory. A lot of fighting. A lot of bickering. Uh, a failure. This is a fail. Something has failed to launch. This person enjoys control. Somebody may be enjoying, or they were enjoying their control over you. But they're not being successful because this is lack of success. Now, this doesn't, it doesn't have to be a Leo, but this is somebody that enjoys control. Low self-esteem, low self-confidence. So there's somebody here that has low self-confidence. That has lack of respect for others. Very egotistical. So I feel like you're dealing with... The, I think this is the other person that we're talking about. This is a loss. This is not lose. This is not winning. Okay? It's not winning. It's a loss. This is a lot of fighting, battling, competitive, highly competitive. You're dealing with uh, this younger woman or whoever this person is. Maybe just be somebody that's immature. Okay, this person is overly competitive, um, talks a lot, you notice there's a lot of people around, this person is a gossip, needs constant attention, wants to be recognized, so can't keep their mouth shut.
Page of Wands reversed, the star reversed. So there's an absence of success here. There's an absence of success. You're, you're dealing with somebody that is a Debbie Downer. You're dealing with a Debbie Downer that talks a lot. This is somebody who cannot keep their mouth shut. This person is causing problems for you. Now, now I don't know. It could be a child. Definitely somebody that is immature. Um, why is this happening? Why, 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 why? Lose, I, for some of you, this is a friend. You're losing a friend or you're losing somebody in your life. Um, this is why is this happening? There's somebody here that is very, very depressed. They see themselves as a victim. They play a victim. They have a victim mentality. This person is weak. They may be sick. Maybe they're getting sicker and sicker and sicker. They're ill. There's some sort of illness here by the looks of things. Um, the star reversed. Why is this happening? This is depleted. Depleted. There's some sort of illness here. You're dealing with somebody that is very arrogant. Okay, we have arrogance. And I don't think it's you. I don't. I think it's somebody in you, that is around you that you have been uh, fighting with. Or you've been, uh, yeah, it feels like fighting because this is a fight. But this, and it's been a constant battle with this person. There's some sort of illness with this person. This person is, doesn't focus, isn't willing to change. Very stubborn. Very, very, very stubborn energy here. This person wants to win at all costs and probably is a know-it-all. I feel like this person has a chip on their shoulder. Um, it's somebody that is, is uh, very immature, childish, um, Poor, poor, pitiful me. We have somebody with a victim mentality here. This person is ill. This person is in your circle. They're ill. Um, <clears throat> there's difficulty in communication. This is a person that has a self-image problem. That may even have a health problem. Maybe even an eating problem. There's definitely some unwelcome news that is coming with that Page of Wands reverse. And you may be, be, be surprised. Remember I said this was a surprise at the beginning. You may be surprised by the news that you hear. Um, th this is like, there's a lack of hope. There's, there's uh, this, and it's funny because I said you're going to be shining. You're going to be in the spotlight. Somebody has been trying to steal your shine. They may be of jealous of you. That's this person over here, whoever this person is. Your faith in God is probably going to be tested this week. Because this is faith, a test of faith. You're going to hear some news that you know, you're probably going to be asking why, 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 why is this happening? It's like, it's a, it's like a, it's bad news. It's like a bad report. You know what I mean? Whatever that report is, it's, maybe it's a medical report. I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, hangman reverse. Then this is a making a decision. A new perspective is needed. Becoming enlightened. Learning some sort of lesson. sacrifice. You may have to make some sort of sacrifice this week. You may be put in the hot seat. The sun is hot. I feel like you may be put in the hot seat. I feel like you're going to have to be making a choice this weekend in regards to, you know, something very, a different path. I think you're going to be thinking about something that has happened. There's going to be a moment of loss, okay? This is Six of Wands reverse is a loss. It is. This is disgraced. It's losing. It's a setback. Somebody that, you know, has no staying power. This person is not staying around. They're not sticking around. Why is this happening? Because... There's somebody's ego, somebody's pride, somebody was unwilling, they were weak, they were sick, they were unwilling to get help, they were unwilling to change, uh, blamed everybody else, 
Anyhow, I, I, a new perspective is about to be gained this week. You're going to be seeing life differently. You're also going to have to make a decision. You're going to need to take time to go within to think about something that happens this week. The star is why. Why is this happening? This is thinking about what happened, thinking about this loss. Because Six of Wands is a loss. It is reversed. Upright, it's a win. Reverse, it's a loss. Somebody didn't win the battle. They lost the battle. So you're going to be thinking about what happened. You could be dealing, like I said, with a Leo, um, Aquarius. I feel like it's a Leo. A Leo is very prominent here. Um, anyhow, could be Pisces. Um, anyhow, thinking about what has happened, you're going to be thinking a good deal. And you, there could be some public embarrassment here. You may even be embarrassed, you know, or there's some sort of recognition you may not want. You may not want this recognition. Okay. People may be, uh, I don't know, saying stuff to you and you don't, you don't want it. You may not want to communicate with anybody. You just want to be alone. You know, something happens and you may not want to hear from anybody, but people are trying to communicate with you. That kind of thing. Um, you're definitely going to be thinking about what has happened and asking a lot of questions to the universe why, or God. Why? 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 Why you put me in this position? You know, that kind of thing. Um, unwelcome news a couple times. Now this, I don't know if there's a loss of something here. Well, there is a loss of something. The Empress reverse is a miscarriage, a termination. It could be a termination of rights, of rights. It could be a separation between mother and child. Okay, mother, child. I'm not sure what is going on. We could have a mother that doesn't take care of herself. She's, she doesn't nurture herself. She doesn't eat well. Um, she does things that are unhealthy. Okay, so it feels like we have, if it's not a mother, it's somebody who doesn't take care of her children, doesn't take care of herself. Um, well, that would be a mother. Anyway, the Empress Reverse, this is a lack of growth, lack of abundance, lack of good health. Somebody's not taking care of themselves. We may have a mother that's not really a good mother, and this mother, you know, is going to lose her child. Maybe the child gets taken away. I don't know. I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you. I feel like you're going to be uh, hearing it. I feel like you're going to, and maybe somebody asks you to take the child or to take care of the child or, I don't know. I hope that isn't the case. Anyhow, um, the Empress reversed. We have a female here who is not healthy. This female isn't healthy. I don't think it's you. I don't. I feel as though you're going to be put in a position where you have to think about your next step. Okay, you're going to be thinking about what you want. You're dealing with somebody that isn't healthy at all. Okay. Um, this is lack of love, lack of abundance. I mean, I suppose it could be you. It could be. Somebody's not taking care of their children. And they're not taking care of themselves. Whether it's you or it's somebody in your circle. We have somebody here that uh, is going to have a setback because they're not taking care of somebody. They're not nurturing. They're not. They're, this is somebody that is self-absorbed. Somebody that is selfish. Somebody that is needy. Somebody that is clingy. Somebody that sees themselves as a victim. Somebody that is in pain. Poor, poor, pitiful me. Somebody that doesn't want to take ownership for anything. Somebody that likes to fight. Somebody that likes to to play games. That thrives on competition only when they feel like it. Um, this is somebody that is refusing to see something from a new perspective, refusing to change, you know, somebody that we have a very unhealthy character here that is about to lose. Okay. This unhealthy character is about to lose. You are protected. I know that this is somebody in your circle and I feel like, and, and this is like a near death or it could even be a death. I mean, I don't even know what is happening, but it could be somebody may not make it because they're so unhealthy. Okay, and I feel like you're going to be put in charge. I'm, I, I'm surprised we don't have that card yet. 
I feel like everything happens for a reason, but I feel like you're going to be um, propositioned, okay? It feels like you're going to be propositioned. Um, seven of Wands. Somebody come, may come knocking at your door, you know? Somebody may show up at your door. Um... I feel like you're gonna you're gonna gonna be put in a really tough position this week. You you are. You're gonna be put in a tough position. There could even be some reporters. You know, I don't know if there's gonna be reporters that are questioning you or what is happening. If it's not reporters, it's uh, being up against answering a lot of questions. People are gonna be asking you things. People are gonna be asking you questions. They're going to ask you your perspective. You know, you may be asked, you may be questioned if this is some sort of investigation. I don't know what's going on. There could be an investigation. Anyway, I think that you are going to be questioned this week. I think that you're going, and you're also going to be put in a position of, you know, everybody's going to be looking at you. Everybody's going to be asking you, what do you want to do? What do you want? What do you want to do here? So I feel like you're going to be asked those questions. Um... Some bad news is coming, and I think it has to do with a child. I do think it has to do with a mother and a child. Um, I think we have a mother that is sick. That is sick. Very, very sick. And um, maybe she can't take care of her child. I don't know what is going on, but that's what it looks like to me. And I don't like it. It makes me sick to even think about it. <laughs> it does. I mean, it makes me want to puke. So, um... There's lack of success here. Somebody is refusing to change. They're very, very, very unhealthy. They haven't been taking care of themselves or their child. There's neglect. There's neglect. Anyway, let's get back to you. Um, now, the Empress reversed is a woman that is cold. Okay, this woman is cold. This woman is uncaring. Uh, doesn't take care of the house. It's an absent mother. Okay, this is an absent mother here. Um, this person is a mess. Is a mess. Um, there could even be some infidelity here. This person may sleep around. They could have a disease. Okay, there could be, and it doesn't have to be an STD. There's, there, there could, could be some sort of illness, a disease that is incurable. You know, it's a, it's reached the point of, it's too late. You know, it's too late. You should have taken care of this a long time ago. Um, anyhow, um. You're going to be thinking about something that happens this week. And there's going to, I think it's going to be sad. I think there's going to be some tears. I think there's going to be pain. Because the Empress Reverse is pain. It's pain. I feel as though um, it's going to be a challenge. I feel like uh, it's going to be hectic. I think you're going to be caught off guard. I do. I think you're going to be caught off guard by some news that comes your way. Um, it's almost like you're, you're in, you're the top, uh, contender here. So they come to you. So somebody may be coming to you for, you know, help. Anyhow, um, my advice is to get ready to hear from somebody. It is going to be a quite a surprise. I feel like it has to do with a mother and a child. Um, there's some illness. I mean, I know I keep repeating myself, but that's what I see. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool reversed. This is uh, headed for a fall. Somebody made a poor judgment call. Um, you're unprepared. This is totally unprepared. You are a, you're unprepared for something new to begin. Something is about to happen that you don't even see coming. Okay, you there's somebody in your circle that is about to lose it, whatever that means. They're about to lose something, and whatever they lose, it's almost like they're giving it to you. They want to give it to you, they want you maybe it's a higher power wants you to have it. I don't know what the hell this is, but um, we 
we definitely have somebody here that isn't well, okay? They're ill. They're very, very, very sick. And this person is a know-it-all. This person is like, oh, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Probably lies to themselves. You have a new beginning, though. Okay? Because that star card. That is a new beginning. And it does have this... The, 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 did I say star? I meant the sun card. The sun card is a card of a child as well. Something to do with a child this week. Somebody may have their rights terminated as a parent. I mean, I hate to say that. But this is a termination. I mean, I hate to say that. I don't think it's you, okay? I think they're coming to you. I think they're coming to you. It's almost like they say, will you do this? Can you do this? Are you ready for this? Do you want this? You know, that kind of thing. Although it could go the other way, okay? They're, I mean, the Empress Reverse is a loss of a child, and I don't, I don't, or it's the loss of, well, it's a termination, could be an abortion, whatever. Somebody may be having an abortion, or they may be losing a child, or in whatever manner that is. Either way, you're going to be thinking about what happened and gaining a new perspective through the events that unfold through the week. It starts out with receiving some news that somebody is sick or they're ill, or whatever. And there's a feeling of being ashamed here as well. There's shame. Ashamed, ashamed. So I'm not sure who's ashamed. We could have a mother that is ashamed. I don't know what is going on, but we definitely have somebody here that is not healthy. And I feel like you are the one that is. I feel like you have some sort of information, and you're going to be questioned. I don't feel like you are losing your child, but... Um, it doesn't have to be loss of a child. The Empress Reverse is loss of love, loss of abundance, poor health. And it could be your inner child. I mean, you may you may have lost your inner child. Maybe you need to nurture your inner child. Maybe you need to love yourself. Maybe you need to take care of yourself. Maybe you had an absent mother and you need to take care of yourself. And you realize that this week because this is some sort of realization realizing, you know, that you are valuable. You may be realizing this week or somebody else may be realizing because this is a lack of value and this is realizing somebody's value. So somebody may be realizing your value this week and you may be saying, why is this happening? Well, you didn't realize it before. This person has changed their perspective and they come knocking on their door, on your door, you know? So I'm not sure how that resonates with you. But I feel like you are going to be getting some sort of contact from somebody that it's a quite a surprise, okay? It's like somebody sees you as the top contender, however it resonates with you, okay? Good luck.